hour long so much. It's too little. Yeah. Um, no, I'm serious. Hey guys, today is Monday, November 23rd. I have about a dozen eBay orders to ship out and I'm doing some other stuff today too. I'm going to meet uh, one of my guys that I buy from on a regular basis named Mike. He's got some stuff to sell me and I'm also going to be at my antique mall refilling some stock. I've sold a bunch of stuff, haven't been there in a couple weeks so I've got a lot of stuff to refill it. Really quick, I want to talk about something that happened last week. Um, you guys might have noticed that instead of doing like a full week long vlog in my warehouse, I only did it Monday to Wednesday. That's because I took two or three days off. My son was a little sick and had to be hospitalized for a few days, uh, but he's out now. He's doing much, much better. And I just wanted to talk about it because having this job, doing what I do, selling on eBay, I have the luxury of just dropping everything at a moment's notice and just taking off work and being there for my family. And that's what I was able to do last week. So I've been reselling now full time for I think like six or seven years it's been. And having that ability to just drop it at a moment's notice is just really important to me and my family. Um, it's probably the biggest reason I'm doing what I do. Uh, because if I you know, had a normal job, anytime something would happen with the kids or somebody, I'd have to go to my boss and beg and plead to try to get some time off. And if I didn't have enough vacation time, like it would just be a whole big you know issue. So reselling is how I support my family. So I just want to thank you guys so much for all your support. All right, let's get to work. All right, the first order I just went ahead and pulled, it was on my storage unit. These are some UK shoes. My mom actually gave me these to sell maybe like a year ago. It's been a while. Uh, they're little like slip-on women's shoes. These sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Next is an E1. This is Super Monkey Ball for PS2. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next is a backpack. Um, I think it might be up here. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. This is a hiking backpack. The brand is Osprey or Osprey. Um, new with the tags, got this um, from my guy Mike actually, maybe about a month ago. Got about $20 into it, it sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Next is a snowman. I sold one of these last week, I had two of them. Let's see here, let me pull this guy down. Got this up in Piqua from Danny and Parker. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next is an E4. These are uh, Scotch hang tabs, uh, quantity of 100. I'm sorry, there's actually a thousand in here. Um, also something I got from Mike, got about $7 into this, uh, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a book in C1. This is an old Alfred Tennyson uh, poetry book I got up in Piqua. So I probably have about $5 into it, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Your name Michael bought this for his daughter. Michael, thank you for the support. Really hope your daughter likes this book. Next is right up here in C7. It is this thing. It is a glass moose mug that um, cousin Eddie, uh, or maybe it's Clark. Maybe they're both drinking from it. Now I don't know. I've seen the movie and I think both Clark and Eddie drink from this moose mug. Um, I've got about $4 into this, sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name is Sam about that mug. He says, Hey John, Sam from the Eclectic Sam YouTube channel. Had to have this for my collection. Thanks for the inspiration to start my channel. Really enjoying posting and reselling content. It's fun, isn't it? Sam, thank you for the support. Wish you the best of luck with your YouTube channel. Next is in C3. There's a Smurfs wallet that I got from the Mojo Casher crew. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing I'm pulling is a diecast car. Right up here, it is a Pontiac GTO, uh, the one that Xander Cage drove in the Triple uh, X movie. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Sold another diecast car over here in A2. This is a Muscle Machines PT Cruiser. Box is a little bit beat up, unfortunately, uh, so not worth as much. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm pulling is down here in E5. It's this PS2 game, The Mark of Cry, that sold for $8.99 free shipping. All right, guys, I'm at my antique mall. I'm actually meeting my buddy Mike here to buy some stuff from him in like an hour and a half. But first, I'm gonna take all this stuff in and price it and get it in the booths. Got a big box of records. Um, I had two of these playtime signs. I just sold the one I saw, so I went ahead and brought this one in. Uh, I got a globe, this neat Cincinnati frame poster, a couple of Hudipole um, beer cases that my buddy Jim gave me. Let's see, Pontiac GTO sign, some bobbleheads. It's like a, a water cooler thing, all kinds of stuff.
quite a few of you guys have stopped by my booth since I've last been here. So I want to give some special shout outs to Paul and Janet, Seth and Caleb, John, Jill and Dale, Marissa and Nate, Karen, Jeff and Billy, Olivia, Liliana and Heather, Bill and Sherry, and Paul and Naomi. Thank you guys all so much for stopping by. Hey, I just got a variety of junk. I like junk. I am. I'll tell you what I got. I've got some filters. Okay. There's a brand new cat oh, caterpillar filters. All brand new oh, filters. Oh, wow. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, these, I looked them all up. You're roughly, very, very conservatively, 75, maybe 110, 120 for all of them. Okay. So if you're interested in those, that's about what they go for. I got these and I got that large filter. Yeah, sure. All right, done. Now, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, needs cleaned up a little bit. Oh, that was kind of neat. You that is cool, around. yeah. They're oh, actually nice. doing good this year. Seven and three. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot better You're doing really good. You seen about ashtrays before? Yeah. That's kind of cool. That is nice. Nice little heavy little one. Yeah. Little Graphics yeah, are still yeah, really was, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. And all chipped up like most of them. Yeah, that is cool, man. That's I went nice. out to the brewery in Colorado. Did you man, really? It's something else. It's oh, it's I gorgeous. It's at the bottom of these mountains, and they got the stream coming right oh. in it. It's cool. That's cool. Let's see. I can't ever pronounce it. Look. Like Crusade or Crusade? Yeah. I can't pronounce it either. I can't either but, uh, you know, I've sold them that things stuff like crazy. Sell, yeah, yeah, people sell like good. it. And it's, you know, not too bad to ship. No. These are nice, yeah. I know there's certain restrictions on metal cleats. Is there... Some leagues will, some leagues won't, but somebody will buy them. I mean, these are really nice. Yeah, they were, you know, I think, hope, uh, hopefully, at least I didn't check. Hopefully, that is the original box. The new balance is new balance. Let's see, we got that in there, we got that in there. Let's see what else we got in here. Like I said, more tapes. Okay. I, I did I did play that. It does work. I you know I've got a lot more of these with the Do headphones, you? and I've got everything with them. I'll buy them. Yeah, I just got them. I'll buy them. Let's see some Harley Davidson wrenches down there. Not real, not real high end. Okay. They don't. Now this is not. Put that in storage unit. It's not. But what it is is it is a. I believe that was a Seiko. The, it's not the Wildcats. I don't think it has oh, Wildcats. Oh, that is sharp. Pick. University of Kentucky. But I'll be honest. I looked. Well, you know what? But my, you know what? It's a good following here around here. Yeah, I was going to say, my dad's birthday is Thursday. Well, there you and go. he is a huge UK fan. There you go. So I think he will appreciate that. That's that's going to be his birthday. But like gift. I said, I, it, that's the way I found it. So that is cool, man. Watch. Good that. timing on that. <laughs> and he's a watch collector, oh, too, so that? he'll appreciate it. I asked my wife what she wants for Christmas, and she she, she goes, oh, give me something special. I said, well, I better go buy a storage unit. <laughs> uh, Bose speaker. I tested that a long time ago. It worked. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you buy much tools. A little bit. These are Greenly. Okay. High end. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, cable strippers. They, they were brand like 25 bucks. Nice. Let's see. Matco, big uh, Matco wrench. I mean, a, a socket though, 36 millimeter for axle. Okay. Um, you know, I forgot. Oh, man. Ninja Turtle stuff. If you don't want that right now, I've got a, a Ninja Turtle TV. A TV? I got the TV. That's cool. And I just want to get rid of it. And it works yeah. fine. Yeah. These, Those oddball TVs tend to do what they're oh, a pain man. in the neck to ship. They do, but I they the suck to ship. If you get a dollar or two out of them, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah. They don't bring anything, but I'm not lying. Um, Hubbly, you ever buy Hubbly stuff? I have not. Electronic, uh, okay. electrical stuff, don't overlook it. Yeah. These, um, uh, it's just a uh, three phase 460 connector. They're $75 all day long. No kidding. That's what they sell for. I buy a lot of electrical stuff. My good wow. friend is an electrician. He doesn't around with some of this stuff yeah but i buy hordes of electrical stuff but very very good seller awesome uh let's see i got some cutco stuff in there i've got more cutco i just got to find it okay please hey, yeah cutco does well you. old uh, reds cars you can have those oh thanks have those. appreciate that mike hats in here some hats ball glove there's some gloves in there they're kind of rough those are pretty rough gloves more ink that ah, probably nothing sega thing yeah, probably nothing any, any Steelers fans? Uh, I'm sure somebody watching the channel likes the Steelers. Yeah, no, well, probably That's not, neat. Probably not a high end piece. But you know, they are doing pretty good this I'm year. Sure, yeah, they are. I think uh, they're undefeated. I thought, you know, you were selling other makeup and stuff like that. You know, I, I found these. I thought I had these. I've got those too. But I look like okay, yeah. we're selling really good. But inside here, inside here, I have a mask. Oh, that's cool. And that's what I was shocked what these were bringing. Yeah. But I've got, I've got, I've got, I don't have cases of them, but I got more of these. So I don't know if you have any luck with that. Okay, now you want it, you want it in the. Yeah, the scotch stuff. You don't have to open it up. It'll probably say how many's in there. 
I can tell it's sealed. It should be uh, look on there. about 10, I'd guess. Yeah, 10 of them. Now I've got three or four more cases. Of these? Oh yeah. Wow. I've got more cases, yeah. And then this is all that other stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, is the, are these all the same? No. No, well, there's a, there's a lot that's alike. Like that's the facial peel. This one I haven't got from you yet, I don't no. think. I don't think so. This is more facial peel. There's only a couple of Day cream, okay. You know, I didn't do anything with it. Good deal, yeah, I'll try to sell it. Okay, now here is the, I still haven't found it. I got a whole case. I got a whole case of, I got a whole case of this. Okay. I found it. This is the one I had before. sold, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you sold. Yeah, the heating mask. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got a, I got a full case somewhere, and I still got to find it. Okay. But I do have if you if you still want more of it later down the road. Yeah. And that's no, that's all there is. Just okay. The There's twelve. Cool. Yeah, that's all there is. Twelve of that. You know, this thing is huge, man. Oh, that's nothing. We got a we got a caterpillar doors over the house. Yeah. It's I think we got ours is bigger than that. Wow. But like I said, they you know people are servicing our stuff right now. Yeah. Uh, here's the kind of the weird stuff. Yeah, this was never used. It looks like it's oh, just no, out of the no. box. It's perfectly clean. That's a uh, fraternity brass. Oh, that's black. cool. I wonder where the university it's from. No, I think it's I think it's just the uh, uh, the fraternity house. Yeah, which honestly would make it sell better because if it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's not tied to a university, anybody in that frat would be interested in it. You know, it's one of those deals. It's a weird thing, but you can it's find cool. It right yeah. Oh, I'll sell it. I sell those paddles when I find them. You know, about twenty bucks, twenty-five bucks. The hazing paddles. Yeah. That's an old uh, cigar company. Uh, oh, that's neat. Um, felt, felt yeah. banner. Uh huh. And I, I did. I think a little bit. Of research. I believe they're out of St. Louis, and I believe the company actually still might be in existence. But I know William A. Right. Stickney. A very fine cigar. That's cool. Like, that I is it, cool. I threw it yeah. That frame. I don't want to get all tore up. Sure, it sure. It was all rolled up when I found it. So that is cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's actually in really good condition for the age. Yeah. Now this is kind of. I don't know. Hope the wind doesn't blow this off. It might. These are. I have no clue, dude. These might not be worth anything at all. You know, they're all these. Uh, are they brush shorts? No, they're just photographs. But they're on real thin paper. They're not on real heavy paper. And there's so many in there. I don't want this wind blowing. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But what's the ones that I liked? Were, well, there's so many of them. Yeah, shoot. Oh, if you get down to the bottom, and they're not in great, great. Uh huh. They, those I thought the prints on those were oh, pretty wow. cool. And there's some more in there too. Chance. But the color on it's pretty cool. Colors. Yeah. I don't know. It might not have any value. I don't know. Huh. They're neat. Yeah, I'll try to sell them. Uh, who knows? You know, there's people out there like some of that stuff. You got me. All right. Let me try and do some math here. Yeah, whatever. I just like that. I think conservatively, I should be able to sell it off for eight fifty. How much? Eight fifty. You're crazy. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're crazy. Good luck. Um, oh, two hundred dollars too much. It's too little. Nah. Um, no, I'm serious. Nah. Um, let's do three hundred. Nah. I feel really good at three hundred, and I got an extra twenty for you for that Stucky's mug. Cause I was, cons I didn't think it'd sell for a hundred bucks. I was trying, you know what I mean? I, I, I was trying to be conservative, so. I might have some more. I just, John, I got so much stuff. Boy, keep so bringing it to me, man. I'll yeah, keep oh, buying yeah. it. I, oh, if you want some older stuff, I got tons and tons of older stuff. I love old stuff. Yeah, I had it too, unfortunately. I just keep buying it. <laughs> I just, like I said, I'm so overwhelmed at work. I just gotta, I'm never gonna have time to ever sell this stuff online or do anything with it. I just yeah, that's the thing is it takes a lot of time with stuff. It does, and it's just geez. But free twenty, sure Mike. Oh, buddy, I sure appreciate. I appreciate it. you. Thank you. Hey, man. Good luck. All right, young man. Take care. Take care, Mike. Back at the warehouse, I got a bunch of good stuff stocked into the antique booths, and I bought a lot of good stuff from Mike. He had a lot of unique, rare, like unusual stuff like he always does. And I was kind of adding up everything I thought I could sell for, like conservatively. And I think I threw him a number of like, I think I could sell it all for like 850. He thought that was too high. He didn't think it was worth that much. And he was throwing me a number of like $200 to pay for everything. But I went ahead and paid him $300 because he just consistently brings me good stuff. And I want him to keep coming to me when he's got stuff to sell. The question I get asked a lot is how do I find stuff in the fall and the winter when there's no garage sales? And that right there is one of the ways I find stuff is I got a handful of people that sell to me on a regular basis and I want to keep those relationships going. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.